Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson, and today I want to go under the sea again to understand why Ursula was banished by King Triton. For many years, Ursula lived in Atlantica's palace with Triton, as she explains in pretty much her first appearance ever on screen, but eventually she was removed from the kingdom, leaving her to bide her time in exile. Banished and exiled and practically starving. And in the original extended version of the Little Mermaid's opening song, Fathoms Below, we would have been alluded to some of the causes for Ursula's lavish lifestyle to be undone. Evil and ugly and hungry for power, King Triton, he banished her off into exile. Luckily, later on in the Little Mermaid Broadway musical, a scrapped song from early into production titled Wasting Away set up that Ursula may have once been the rightful heir to the throne, but was not allowed to take her place as queen of the sea because of her use of black magic. That song was later replaced in the original Broadway run by I Want the Good Times Back, which highlighted again that Ursula used black magic, but also showcased that she used the power to mutilate, maim, and destroy the sea folk and kingdom around her. You see, an idea that was carried over from the initial planning on the animated film to the Broadway show was the concept that Ursula and Triton were siblings. And in my previous Little Mermaid video, I discuss in more detail how it's possible that these two could be brother and sister, which I've linked down below. For this video though, it's just important to note that originally we were told in the musical that after their father died, Ursula and Triton were then given half of the sea to rule. But Ursula not only longed for the glamour, glitz, and style that came from being a ruler, she also longed for pure domination and hoped to achieve disgusting wealth, exquisite sin, and to be worshipped by the entire ocean. But because she used forbidden magic to expand her might and control over her subjects, Triton was forced to cast her out of Atlantica. The idea of Ursula using her wisdom to acquire power was used again when I Want the Good Times Back was subsequently replaced in the musical by the song Daddy's Little Angel. You you see, in this song's version of Ursula's backstory, we find out that out of jealousy for her six older sisters, Ursula murdered them throughout her life using both magic and the dangers of the sea to send them to heaven, which allowed her to rise to become queen when her father Poseidon inevitably died. But when her younger brother Triton came to age and he became entitled to half of the kingdom, he decided to cast out and exile her to the shadowy depths of the sea to pay for her crimes against their family. And by removing Ursula, Triton became the lone king of the sea. But the event that revealed Ursula's evil, selfish, and dark intentions to Triton initially may have actually been revealed in the Little Mermaid animated series. You see, long before Triton became a father, Atlantica was forced to endure many conflicts with sea creatures known as the Octopuns, which would be remembered as the Sargasso Wars. The Octopuns spent years trying to drive the merpeople out of Atlantica to obtain their land, crops, culture, and home. And at one point, the war seemed to shift to the Octopuns' advantage when they obtained an intimidating weapon. They had somehow acquired a trident as powerful as mine. And I think it would make sense that around the time Ursula and Triton would be forced to rule the sea, Ursula would finally move against him. And it appears that she may have done that in a big way. You see, we find out that Ursula was the one who forced formed this trident that could mimic the strength of Triton's own weapon, and she was the one to bestow it to one of Atlantica's most dangerous enemies, most likely in hopes of causing the defeat of King Triton. While Ursula's dark trident may have had the might of Triton's though, it definitely did not have the infinite durability, which meant that once it was destroyed by the warrior Apollo and the Octopun's advantage was gone, they were forced to flee from Triton and Atlantica's army. Now it's not officially stated whether this war happened before or after Ursula's banishment or whether or not King Triton ever actually found out that Ursula was involved in the treachery. By sunset, Atlantica will be ours, but mostly mine. But I think it's very possible that Triton was able to figure it out and pinpoint that it was Ursula. And if he would have came to the understanding that she was trying to plot to take control of Atlantica, I think this could have been the moment that Triton was forced to see that he might have to turn his back on Ursula. Especially if he would have looked into her presence in Atlantica more, Triton might have also found her potions, spells, ointments, and gels along with the truth that the rest of Triton's sisters were murdered by her. And eventually, he probably would have also found out that his father's death from 
from the very lethal flu that Ursula describes in Daddy's Little Angel could have even come from her. Regardless of whether the creation of the Dark Trident was what revealed Ursula's true nature to Triton though, Ursula's exile all came about because she used dark magic and repeatedly was shown to act evil and ugly because she was focused on riches, greed, and empowering herself. But let me know your thoughts around Ursula's banishment down in the comments or over on my Discord, which you can gain access to by joining our community over on Patreon. If you're new here, consider subscribing. And of course, thanks for watching and have a magical day.